peace be with you. I, God, am here. Offer me your love now. Let me rejoice. I, who am forever the same, delight in you. Lord, did you always pick up someone to be your messenger, like in the Old Testament? Will you always speak to us? Here is my answer. I, who am eternally the same, Sabio. I'll always find you for my sake and my sake only have I acted and will act. Am I to grieve forever? This way of finding you is one of my ways. We are in 1987. Some people will not accept it. We have the Holy Bible to study, they would say. Okay. These ecclesiastical messages are a reminder. For in my heart was a day of mercy. The hour of my saving help is here. After all, am I not Father? Am I not the saving of my seeds? I have my eyes set on each one of you. My gaze never lets anything go by unseen. I want to remind you that my word is meant to be read. My word is blessed. I am the Almighty. <coughs> God, and I'm free to step out whenever I please. Why? Did you think, daughter, son, that I will make any difference because you are in 1987? Your era makes no difference to me. Listen, for me, a thousand years is yesterday. Second Peter 3.8. My door will always remain open. Bear in mind, daughter, son of my choice, that I will call you again. Why, did you believe you are different? Or that I never really spoke before as I do now? I who am forever the same. Blessed you all. I have my eyes set on your poverty. Eternal Savior told us once that a prophet is never accepted in his own homeland. Luke 4.24 Many will not accept me as your bearer. Most of your messengers were treated as fools or told were possessed, they were slain. Live in peace, daughter, son, lean on me. I, God Almighty, will be your strength. With me, you need not fear. I will help you, love me, always as you do. My infinite spirit will bring you together again. I love you, daughter, son, have my Blessings. I am here. Blessed are the little ones, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I love you, daughter, son. Wait and you will see. One day you will abide in my eternal light. My God, I am 
take my hand, take now my other hand, and walk. This was once before said, giving me the same vision of God Almighty, taking both of my hands when I was supposed to go forward into a new theme. Walk. Walk, beloved. Advance. Do not fear. I have nominated you my bearer, not only for one part of my creation, but the entire. Daughter of the king, son of the king. Wait and you shall see. I have not yet come close enough to the middle of my message. I can work without you, sons and daughters of the king, but I delight sharing my works with you, flower. I am God Almighty, and I suffice by myself. Every new step you take, I bless. So advance, blood. Advance with me. Go forth. Lord Almighty, help me to advance as it's your will. I can't alone. As usual, I'll ask you to carry me. I'm incapable of whatsoever. Doctor of the King, Son of the King, I will help you, for I am your strength. Lord Almighty, preserve us from falling into error because it can be devastating, wiping out entire nations only by committing one error, like in the beginning. Genesis chapter 3. Yes, daughter of the king, son of the king, fear this plague, for error is a contaminating plague. My God Almighty, I have read somewhere that the reason the church might be reluctant accepting private revelations is because all that there is to know is already in the Bible. So they do not accept any new revelation. I mean not new as theme, but new apart from the Bible. Going out to this brings fear upon them, thinking the new or private revelation might lead them astray. Doctor of the King Son of the King, when I see my creation bound to fall into my enemy's pit, would I just sit and watch them fall without wanting to rush to their rescue? Do you remember when I healed a dropsical man on a Sabbath? What had I asked the Pharisees? Lord, I have to check the Bible. Fetch then my word. I did and checked. Luke chapter 14 verses 1 to 6. Yes, daughter, son, I asked, is it against the law to cure a man on the Sabbath or not? They did not answer. I said, which of you here, if a son falls into well or ox, will not pull him out on a Sabbath? day without hesitation and to this day they could find no answer this is a symbolic sentence for our era to this day they cannot find an answer because there's today is pharisees too uh, the spirit of phariseeism has continued to this day today i am asking those who refuse this revelation this question is it against my law in your era to save my creation from falling by my providential works of today. Doctor of the King, Son of the King, I am unlimited salvation. And eternal Savior, Jesus, means Savior. Tell them, tell them Lord, remind them then, Lord of all this. Beloved, they have crowned my heart with a wreath of thorns my sacred heart is bleeding eternal salvation do they realize this i will sound and step at their door and without knocking enter their house and show them my sacred heart 
Those who would prove sincere will realize their error. Come, daughter, son, us, we. Yes, Lord. United. Sholam. Yara Sungulama Papadi, Hepata Kabri, Dilama Kabri. He can lama papara take and Glory to the Lord forever. Love is by your side. You are weak, but in your weakness I am extolled. Kiara Congo and Batendo de Pitato Sindari. Eto da Pocorin to the Mapari. Emperor Cocorin to the Mapari. Eternal now, self existent. Your works. Our blessings, wealth, and the lamp. Forgive us if I say us is because I belong to the same family that God Almighty created, and I beseech pardon on behalf of my family, who do not believe still that these messages come from God Almighty, for not accepting them as from you with all your, our heart. My daughter, son, I, your Father Almighty, give you my peace. From the dawn of your earliest days, I made you sit in my court to teach you righteousness, love, and who I am. So that you do not adopt the ways of the world, I descended on you to conquer your heart. I wanted you to become my friend and teach you that to fear me is the beginning of wisdom. <clears throat> Proverbs 1.7 in Proverbs 9:10 Although you did not although you did not deserve to see my glory I came to you in your silence to obtain your yes I then commanded darkness not to be dark around you and that night would transform itself into light Member of the Eastern House Doctor, this house, false witnesses have risen against you, but put your hope in me, your Father, Almighty. Keep my instructions and be at peace and do not be worn out. Endure and proclaim my glory and my fatherly call in the courts of my house. You will remain to progress and progress my people. I shall not fail you, so do not fail me either. I tell you, once the oppression is over and the ruler of the underworld chained and those who trample my almighty son's sacrifice underfoot gone away, from within the house you are in, a man of good omen will stand up, flaring like a torch to Blaring like a torch. To restore my sanctuary. And my name. Thrice holy. And the rebels. Kingdom shall fall. I shall continue to be your song, my daughters and sons of the king, 
and your torch. I shall be the I shall be by your side and lead you safely all the days of your life. You shall be my collaborator and my friend, my echo and my weapon. And your mouth will be like a sword to all those who are wreaking havoc in my sanctuary. I, the eternal now, am known to defend the simple and my heart melts for your for the pure of heart he who comes to me as a little child will know and will be allowed to meet with wisdom matthew 11:25 who will lead him into my kingdom my eyes favor the little hearts from these hearts my knowledge is poured in abundance. Well to those who do not welcome me in simplicity of heart, but show themselves as the greatest in my courts, and call evil good and good evil, who substitute darkness for light and light for darkness, who substitute bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Isaiah 5.20 My infinite spirit Seeing their selfish intentions will divorce them from me, who am thrice holy. You want to enjoy heaven? You want to rejoice in my presence? Then come to me as a child. You want to meet me and see me? Then come to me with innocence in your heart. Come to me with a pure heart, and the scales covering your eyes will fall so that you see my glory. And he who was, is, and is to come. Apocalypse chapter 4 verse 8. Do not, be in, do not be ensnared into your pride, for I will allow these little ones to trip you over. I, God Almighty, am with you. Daughter, Son, be blessed by us and our Trinitarian holiness. Alpha Omega. Kia la pako sinda kolama bedi. Ya da no ba kandi ya da kama tisi. Indo la ba konga di danda la ba paten tisi. Indo la ba kani jodi. The Lord showed me in these past months that I should keep in retreat and enter even more now in holy contemplation. This is also the fruit of union. What more sublime could there be than to be in the embrace of the Holy One? What more pleasing to God Almighty could there be than allowing ourselves to be possessed by His Majesty and to learn how to possess Him? The repose of this peace will bring growth in the divine union, strength to continue with the Father Almighty laid out for me, zeal and thirst for the salvation of souls. I noticed too that God Almighty was now turning his gaze more of the services I had rendered him in spite of my frailty and that his loving instructions were focused on what I should still be doing. The messages, in other words, were becoming more personal, although now and then God Almighty would address his entire chore. I should have liked also to add that the horror in my soul being praised by people was becoming so intense that many a times I was at loss with myself and besides myself. Even when I could, would guess that a person focuses more on me than on the words of our divine master, this alone would make me withdraw even more, going even closer to the, in the embrace of God Almighty's love. This special attention given to me sometimes was like a vomit to my eyes. God Almighty made it now clearer to me that any distraction by the world and by people could become a harmful influence 
It would draw me away from love's embrace. The plates. I wanted to remain. I received oceans of graces, oceans of gifts. But have I praised my God Almighty enough? Have I been negligent on his gift? Yes. Yeah. My son of the king, daughter of the king, stand for a moment. I am transferring into your intellect and lean on my heart. I am your rock. Yes, this yes was a confirmation to my feelings. I desire you for myself. During this year, I want my beloved to give herself up to the sweet repose of contemplation, withdrawing from the turmoil of the world, entering into my heavenly embrace. You would be displeasing me were you to oppose my will. I want to oppose you for my glory, but also for the benefit of my church. Come frequently to me to write down my saying. I can use you so that my church renews itself, expanding in grace. I had shown you in the beginning my weariness and had asked you if you were willing to oppose me. Now I can say, Our Lord, and fondly said these words to me. My beloved is my heaven, the sweet fragrance of my house who enjoys my favor. She is the chant of my angels. Oh, what would I not do for her? Oh, infinite and transcendent God Almighty, how could you have from the beginning gazed on this utterly unworthy and rebellious creature of yours? I, eternal salvation, am enough to make anyone aware of my power and my infinite mercy. Separate yourself from this eternal Savior. Emphasize this word, pointing to his sacred heart, saying, this fire that emanates from my heart, and you will extinguish. I can keep you ablaze and on fire vivified by an ardent love for me, my house, and my household. I can bring back to life anyone and lead him with cords of love into perfection. Lord, God Almighty, I always feared the praises of people on me, and I always wondered how these things affected you. All the while, I tried to guard myself against this worldly fervor because from the beginning, you made me understand my utter wretchedness and how I was the least of them all. Your words were like a hammer hammering in my soul, engraving them in my heart. Now and then, you reminded me of my nothingness and that if I dared lift my chin even for just a moment, I would lose your heart and all the divine graces too. In your exuberant love... You held me close to your heart. And protecting me in this way, you made me understand you. And that by remaining a nothing, you would take so much pleasure in this effacement because you would do all and be all. From my very early childhood, the devil used to appear to me like a growling black dog ready to tear me into pieces. But your all-powerful action protected me. Your constant presence guarded me, leading me in this divine union of your heart. Remaining indissolubly united with the God head. Let then be such an indescribable way, led then by such an indescribable way that to this day it appears to me as a dream. Spouse of souls, I love you. 
Behold this heart which chose you. It is the same that was pierced. You have tasted it, felt it, heard it. Still my own and my child. Our work is not finished because my blood is continuing to stream out of my heart in rivers. You are my only good. What can I do for you? Listen and write. Many of my ministers have laid my vineyard waste and my sheep are scattered. Many of them have reduced my house into a ruin, a desolation. And they know it. There is no peace among them and they know it. I am disappointed with them and this is why they do not want to hear me. Can their vows rid them of their sin? No, my Lord. I believe not for sin is sin. They should observe my ways and repent. And like a scent of myrrh, their perfume will rise up and perfume my house. I then will cultivate my sons. Ministers or shepherds are the sons. And will wait with delight for their fine harvest. Suddenly our Lord turned to me and when he said, I confide my ministers to you. I felt as though he took off his back, the whole chart. He was carrying and placed it on my back. He says, I confide my ministers to you. Your maker will hear your prayers. Intercede for them. Pray and ask the Father Almighty, whose forbearance is long to forgive them. Do not delay. Do you not know that even your childlike babblings are heard by the Father Almighty and graciously He responds to them? He has granted you so many favors, your advantage being ever so weak and your very wretchedness makes Him stoop from His throne. Lord, I offer you, to you, my will and all that you would give more glory to your name. You are my royal banquet. Bringing and giving food to the poor is our delight. Remain in close union to my heart and listen to its pulsations. Israel. The song, Kalamati Yolava Kandi. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do.